On iOS 15 and later, we're able to choose different tab and address bar layouts on both iPhone and iPad. Here on the iPhone, the change is most drastic because your tabs and address bar now reside at the bottom of the page rather than the top. So let's start here on the iPhone where I have a search page up. At the bottom of the screen is the tab with the unified search slash address bar. Tap on it and we can enter a different search or an exact web address. As I begin scrolling down the page, the tab bar will move out of the way. We can make it pop up again with a tap on it or by scrolling up on the page. Apple's made this design change on the iPhone for one obvious reason, single hand operation. Typically, when holding your iPhone in one hand, your thumb is going to be used to scroll and tap on the page. Having the tab bar at the bottom of the page makes it a lot easier for most to access it with a thumb rather than needing to stretch all the way to the top of the page or need to use your other hand. While viewing a full page like this, we can also swipe left or right on the tab bar to quickly jump from tab to tab. If you don't like having the address bar at the bottom of the display in Safari, it can be moved back to the top from Safari settings. Here in the tab section, we can switch from tab bar to single tab, which will move the address and search bar back to the top. With this on, you won't be able to swipe to move between tabs. You'll need to tap the Tab View button, which remains at the bottom of the display, with the Forward, Back, Share, and Bookmarks buttons. After a bit of time to get used to it, I now prefer having the tab bar at the bottom of the display in Safari on iPhone. Now let's move to Safari on the iPad. On iPad, tabs remain at the top of the display because normally it's not going to be used with a single hand. But tabs and the address bar have been unified. So as I tap on each tab, this also serves as a unified search and address bar. This was done to save space on the iPad display. In Safari settings, we can switch back to the more traditional look of having a separate tab bar and address bar. So now as I jump to each tab, its address appears up in the unified address and search bar. With either the separate or unified tab and address bar, we can still tap and drag to rearrange tabs. Tap the Add button here for a brand new tab. And use the Grid button to see all your tabs at once like we did on the iPhone. When viewing a tab, tap the X on its left to close it. So tabs are generally going to operate the same whichever tab view you choose. Users will just have to consider the benefit of the extra real estate that comes with the compact option versus the more familiar separate tabs and address bar option. Next up, we'll look at tab groups.